TapTap here, welcome back to Syrah. Now that we have the battery charged, we can actually go to a different solar system. Just fly the cursor off the screen and you'll end up at the star map. And you can see by the energy cost which planets we can go to, or which solar systems rather. Well, you can only go to these four here. Let's start with a nice easy place that has only one item to get. And space travel takes a little time, so we can actually check out the radio. And we can check out the information on the solar system we're going to. And you can listen to a few of the different radio stations, but I won't be showing that off, at least not in this video. Because Space travel is really pretty short in this game, so there's really not much need to waste too much time. Looks like this solar system only has one planet and a very big star. Dragon Noir. Let's see what is here. It's very dark. And there are power cables. If you read the little description on the PDA screen before that describes the planet. You'll know that there's a power grid here. Controls, arrow, C. Why are you not working? You are not working. Input power is missing. I did not even notice that. We cannot operate that console yet. I was foolishly trying to use the mouse for a second there. This game does not use the mouse. The game only uses the arrow buttons and a couple of other letter buttons. And these little guys moved. Yes, I see you. Run and hide, you little thing. This planet is very, very dark. But hopefully we can find a power station and maybe get some lights back on or maybe get some consoles working. Speak of the devil, are you a generator? Yes, you are. Power on. We have very small amounts of lighting. And that's really just an effect to show off the fact that the lines are... Ooh. Turtles! Hey, turtles. Gone on turtles. Those turtles are like they don't have a head. Either that or their tail is shaped exactly the same way as their head is. And whoa, we have a wall jumping sequence here. So that's fun. A wall jump back and forth. And you have to be pretty careful on some of these. This one's not too hard though. Yeah, as you can see, if you jump too early sometimes, you'll have to make the jump again. And I ended up on the wrong side, but that doesn't matter. And I sort of totally forgot that we already activated one of the generators. But here's another generator! So let's just activate that, too. Oh, and there are numbers. I always take pictures of random numbers. Random numbers pretty much always come in handy. What is this? Laser. Ooh, and the ship part. All they have to do is turn off this laser. But we need a password. We don't have a password yet. Or do we? We did have that item. Or that number. I somehow doubt that we're already done with this puzzle, though. Because this is the only item on the level, remember? Nope. So we will need to find a different password. In fact, I'm not really sure why that generator has that number written on it. I guess maybe it's just for decoration, or maybe it goes to something else. Here we go, now we can operate these consoles. The way these work 
is we want to always let this node have power, but we also want to power this node. And whenever we switch these, the power goes down the wire, and we just want to switch it so that all of the ones have one input and all of the arrows connect. And now the power continued on down this line. Oh, and here's that console we couldn't use before. Looks like we don't need to get any power to this. Actually, we can't power that node. And this node can only get 0 or 1, so let's just flip this. Oh no! We gave that node too much power. So let's just do this. And the power continues on through another set of lines over our spaceship, which is very obviously a UFO. Ooh, and there is a battery charger, which is apparently out of power. Here is another puzzle. We obviously need to give at least a little power to this end. And we need to get power to this, so we need to make sure this line is open. And there we go. Actually, there we get an error. Oops. Forgot to reset that. Now, oops. Flip this down first. That is an important step. Now flip this down. Now we can open this without activating that other one. Is the battery charger working? Yes, it is. Once your battery is charged, you can leave the solar system at any time. Sorry about the slight skip there. But let's continue this puzzle here. It looks like this is a safe move. And what we want to do with this type of puzzle is we activate this transmitter. We activate all four of these one at a time, and once they're activated, we can unpower them, because they stay powered no matter what after they've been activated. Let's leave that on to switch this on. We're already halfway there. And we need to power this node before we switch this. It should be powered by default. Oop. We didn't power the node at the top there. And obviously if you fail you have to redo all of this stuff again. You have to repower each transmitter individually. Now we just have one more. Before we can activate this switch, we have to make sure we're not giving power to this. But we also have to make sure we don't mess it up like we just did there. Just giving two power to this node is just bad. Don't do it. That node is just a power hog and you're enabling him if you enable the power. You don't want to be an enabler, do you? So in order to not power that we just have to make sure we have this flipped and this flipped. But we want to make sure this and this get power, but it looks like they should. Yep. There we go. Ah. Looks like that is not the complete sign because I do not know what ba means. But we need to go find that other generator that I sort of activated and sort of totally forgot about. And here it is. But we will activate that next time. Thanks for watching. This has been Let's Play Syrah.